Grand Rising, it's Trinity here. Back to give you guys a quick general read. Today's my day off. All right. So I pulled the financial constraints as the um, first card. Some of you guys could be in a period of lack at this time where you're just very cautious about your spending. I feel like some of you guys are um, recognizing that your um, your wants and um, and needs. Excuse me, you, you guys are differentiating between your wants and needs. So I feel like somebody is being more conservative um, with their money at this time. All right. Um, we have the Empress. So I feel like you're very fertile at this time here. Um, fertility is at all time high. You guys are creating at this time. It could be to help you get out of um, this lack. For some of you guys, this was a curse placed on you since the age of 13. It was something here. All right. We also have the three of air. So some of you guys are silently departing from things, releasing things that no longer serve you here. I feel like God's rejection is your protection. It's something that you wanted to create or something here that you wanted to do and which you were rejected from. It's because it wasn't the right time. We're also pulling um, the king of water. So this is like a diplomatic uh, leader here. Somebody who's... Um, who's generous this is a fair leader somebody who's like going to be entering your life to teach you about reasoning so i feel like somebody's teaching you energetically um the importance of releasing attachments all right <clears throat> we have failure in reverse so like i say here um for some of you guys it's something that you failed at but you're meant to try over again. It was like a lesson here that you need to learn. It's something that you were struggling with energetically. We got the um the moon card, some sort of illusions. This could definitely be in regards to um temptation. Yeah, you pulling back. This could have something to do with spending. This could have anything to do with people getting in the way of um of you creating. This could have something to do with you um putting people needs, desires, and wants before you. I feel like you guys are grounding your energy at this time, all right? Your positive information for today is, um, today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. So if first you don't succeed, right? Pick yourself up and try again. So we have the king of swords. So we got two kings. Um, well, king energy is here and empress is here twice. We also have the empress. So for some of you guys, you guys can be recognized um, on your job like as a good asset or a good diplomatic leader, whatever the case may be. For some of you guys, there's a masculine here who's... Um, who's watching how pretty you are. I feel like this person here may want to team up with you. For some of you guys, this person's waiting or you're waiting on them. Somebody's like waiting for somebody to leave something behind. This could be you creating a whole new identity in itself. Or for instance, this could be like somebody who's like a housewife, somebody who doesn't work, somebody who's looking to expand. If you do work or whatever you do here, it's like you could be wanting to explore into a different um Feel the work. We have the nine of wands. So I do see some of you guys are defensive here about letting something go or you just stepping away from what you know to the unknown. This could be a problem um, for somebody out there with the four of swords completely laying things to rest here. I also feel like here you guys have worked really hard here um, or you you work long hours, however way this goes. Spirit needs you to um, put more time into um, meditation. This could just be resting here because some of you guys could be really tired. It's like you're wanting to do something, but maybe your work there is long or it's hard or vigorous, whatever here. Um, this could be causing you to become lazy, not lazy, but maybe unmotivated, however way this may go. So spirit does need you in that four source energy at this time here to take the necessary time out for healing or whatever the case may be, or if it's something that's um, weighing you down, this could even be emotionally you expressing yourself or healing your emotions. All right. So the King of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, for some of you guys, this could definitely have something to do with family life, um, better times in your family life here. For some of you guys, there could be a masculine here who wants a family with you. Um, maybe this is what somebody's envisioning. For some of you guys, this, this could be like the um, a tough cycle. Um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. This could be with long-term um, family issues here. Maybe some of you guys are um, coming to a common ground. This could even be a relationship. Whereas though um, you guys are in and um, you guys' emotional needs may need to be met here. Some sort of uh, mutual respect. We also are pulling the lovers. This is under the Empress. So this is like self-love to me. Um, 
pouring self-love into yourself here um for some of you guys this is definitely a twin flame or this is somebody who's um aligning with you this is like a a soulmate a twin flame or just somebody here who you guys share common interests with you guys this could be a romantic partner this could be a business partner however way this goes but i do see somebody strategizing here either about a family this is like a work partnership this is about creating all right Somebody could be in the energy of the nine of swords. I don't know, nine of wands, nine of swords, two nines. So this could definitely have something to do with change. Maybe somebody is not good with change or it's, it could like with the nine of swords, three of wands, changing of a lifestyle here. This could be from running the streets to settling down. This could be from two to three options to one option, uh, only option, however way this goes. But Maybe just love in general stresses somebody out here. All right, but we do have the nine, of, the Knight of Cups. So this is definitely, um, if this isn't like a player, um, this is somebody who dates around or maybe somebody have taken a rest from dating or this is somebody who's just stepping back on the dating scene here. This could cause somebody um, an immense amount of stress. And this could be due to, like I said here, uh, traumas and triggers, things that transpired in your past here, things that people don't know about, however way it may go here. But spirit does say that a new start is coming. All right, with this healing, this this resting here, maybe you coming out of this defensive state of mind. Um, this could definitely be somebody who lives in two minds, double minds. Um, two of Pentacles energy is what I'm getting, juggling back and forth. So somebody could be in their head a lot because the King of Swords is definitely somebody who's more so logical over heart. So I mean, somebody's like being more so logical about the situation. This could definitely be somebody thinking about what all they had to lose or what could they gain from a certain situation. So somebody's brainstorming here either about an offer. This could be somebody waiting until you're completely healed to come into your path there. This could be somebody telling you that you have to leave something behind in order for something to work out here. But you guys are very fertile at this time here. And I feel like whatever you guys put your mind to, you're going to be able to accomplish in this season. So remember, if you were rejected from something, if something didn't work out, it's time for you to put a spin on it, a new approach here. So Spirit says, go ahead and start creating a new identity for yourself that you would like to see. Um, I'm hearing Alyssa, Alyssa Carr, no scars were beautiful. So some of you guys are the wounded warrior. You guys have been scarred. You guys are picking yourself back up. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of options. This is in love. This is in work. All right. It's all after your healing here. Yeah. And it's this heartbreak. After this heartbreak, this healing here. All right. Something that held you down. Something that suppressed your, could be your emotions, could suppress you from moving forward. And I feel like you guys are, I'm here in decompressing. All right. Yeah. We have the five of wands. See, you guys are coming out of this here. All right. Heartbreak, internal conflict, jungling back and forth, not being able to make the right decisions, possibly not forgiving you guys, forgiving yourselves for certain issues or whatever the case may be. But all of this energy is clearing with this moon that just passed. Souls are being um, risen at this time. Yeah. And it's, it's all started with you calling judgment here, walking away. This is like the aha moment, the enlightenment. Um, what do I have to leave behind? What's what's causing me to be in my head? What's stagnating me? Um, what's holding me back? How can I move forward? All right. Because some of you guys, like I said, this was definitely some sort of curse here, or it was something that transpired that kept you blocked off from the most high. So these downloads, these messages, which way to go and how to move forward, what to leave behind, this was all um, blocked off, but it's, it's faded for cycles to close at this time here. And, you know, some of you guys could be in this five of cups energy what you have to leave back, but you guys could be co-creating with spirit. It's fine to have emotions. What can you do with those emotions? How can you create something beautiful from what you're feeling? All right. Let's close this out here. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Safe travels, drive safe. <laughs> Are you ready for a new relationship? Do you wish to improve a relationship that you're in? Begin by romancing yourself. You are worthy of a deep, fulfilling relationship. Love yourself as you wish to be loved and cultivate friends and be open to romance. I told you somebody here is ready for something new or somebody wants to improve something. And this is what somebody's um, working on at this time. Like I said, help heavy on the self-care here. Um, 
you know, guys, don't be afraid to go ahead and um, treat yourself. It's fine to, um, you know, when you guys are taking care of everything and, and everybody, sometimes you tend to um, not take care of yourself. So heavy emphasis on the self-care. All right. This is definitely a lesson that I've learned over the last few months, honestly. All right. Think of one question here that you would like to ask, Spirit. Um, you can't take care of anybody before you take care of yourself. So Spirit wants you to trust the process at this time here. Trust your intuition. Be open to the unknown and what all it has to offer to you. And one more. Think of one more question, guys, that you would like to ask. And we're going to close this out. <clears throat> yeah, we have choose a new direction, see? All right, so yeah, there's going to be support coming to you guys here. Um, I feel like the more you drop what no longer serves you, um, the more you'll be elevating. So Spirit says um, today, think about um, everything that's going on in your life or whoever's in your life. Are these uh, people, places, and things hindering you or are they helping you grow? Also, think about today. What brings you wish fulfillment? What brings you um, ultimate happiness? For some of you guys, if there's something that you want to do and you've been rejected or didn't work out, how can you reinvent yourself and what steps can you take? Is there something that you wanted to do as a child that you've never done? How can you carry out those dreams into your adulthood? So that's all I have for you guys. Any of this resonated today? Like, share, and subscribe.